So in this week's Creative Confidence Catch-Up, today I'm going to be chatting with Sean. So Sean, would you like to tell us a bit about yourself? Yes, uh, of course, Amy. I'm, a, uh, I'm an author and writer of a uh, book series uh, called The Green Girl. Oh, exciting. It's That's a really science cool. fiction a, a superhero a, a book series aimed at young adults. Oh, awesome. That's really cool. So in terms of like your um your background in writing books and things like that, can you tell me if there's been like any challenges like as you've been trying to write them or any robots you've come against? Um I'd say putting ideas together really, coming up with the ideas. And then is it is it hard to kind of um create that storyline? Because I like personally for me, I'd find that really, really hard. <laughs> I'd say yes, it, it has been challenging in ways. Um, so in the pro- in the process, do you find like um, it kind of, it can be difficult in places, but not so much in others? And once you have the idea, it's yes, easy to yeah. expand on. Once you've got something set in stone, then it becomes a lot more easier, I would say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so having that, so Green Girl as like the main sort of theme and then spanning off that. Yes, yes. Ah, so on your journey, like, are there are certain people who have helped you on your um, way to become creative, um, to boost your confidence in what is I'd it? I'd say not so much people as such, but a, um, one thing that really made me think about that I wanted to write this series was before I started this, I uh, wrote a lot of fan fiction. Mm-hmm. So you've got a really um, big interest in that? Yes, yes. Oh, that yeah. sort of became the uh, building block as such. Mm-hmm. And I suppose when you've got an interest in something, it makes something a bit more easier to develop, maybe? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, that's ace. Do you like stuff like it's uh, very sci-fi and very, I don't know, like things like Star Trek, things like Star Wars and all that sort of stuff? Is that something that you're interested in? Star Wars, yes. Do you? Do you like that? Is that? Have you got any favourite characters, anything like that? I uh, like Chewbacca. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Like Yoda and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. So it's finding your interest in what you're about, I suppose, and then it makes it easier to find your confidence to go in the direction that you want. So it's finding that little bit of a focus. <clears throat> so that's what Definitely. Sort of helped you. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, in terms of creativity, then, do you want to kind of tell us, um, t- or tell people a bit about like your the uh, the book series in the Green Girl? The uh, series uh, focuses on three generations of the same family, mm-hmm. used by a genetic mutation which mm-hmm. gives them superhuman abilities. Ah, awesome. I wish I had, like, superpowers and stuff. That would be really mm-hmm. cool. Well, if you had a superpower, what would it be? What do you think? Oh, God, are hey, um, able to absorb vast amounts of knowledge? Oh, yeah, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? See, for me, I think it'd be, like, so, for example, you you could be here one minute and then, like, next minute you can, like, put yourself into another place, like, across the other side of the world. That'd be really mm-hmm. cool, wouldn't it? So the Green Girl, then. So um, have you got any maybe examples here? Have you got any physical copies? Or is this something that's, like, a, a project that's in the works? I have actually got a, um, the first book is out on Amazon. Oh, right. Okay. At the moment. I have actually got hard copies on me at the moment. Oh, right. Okay. Well, well, maybe maybe that's Sorry. something that we could put in the comments section so people can yes. um, get, get to. Because oh, for me... Definitely. For me at the moment, I feel like in terms of like people like yourselves, creatives out there, sometimes I don't know about what you feel, but to be creative and getting your projects out there it's really hard and to have somebody because we were talking about representation weren't we the other day yes. and the idea of like sometimes to get your stuff out there it's really hard and mm-hmm. when you have a link or somebody else puts you on a podcast don't you find that's it it can be a bit more easy for that outreach oh, content. God, yeah yeah community is very important for that don't you think i think it is, yes, in that regard. Sometimes, like I've felt in the past, where you have like periods of time where you're creating and it's really mm-hmm. great, but then when you try and do it on your own, it's really hard. But then the moment that like you link yourselves with other individuals who have mm-hmm. an understanding about what you're about or where you mm-hmm. want to get, 
together more people the more mm-hmm. like progress can be made mm-hmm. oh yeah. god yes yeah, yeah. i agree um so any projects at the moment that you're working on then could you tell us a bit at about the those? moment i am a, um looking for representation for the uh, other books and series right okay either through a literacy agents or a um, publishers oh, wow that's really cool so anybody who's in that realm if you know of anything know of anybody please yeah send us some messages mm-hmm. so we can get in contact with sean about this because yeah i think representing people it's really important to yeah like i said get people out there and it can be a struggle when we're doing it on their own um so yeah as we come towards the end of this episode because it's been really exciting to speak with you um do you have any like words of encouragement or useful insights to to people or others that are out there that may also be on their creative journey i think never give up on your dream that's true yeah always keep pushing yourself mm-hmm. that's the thing isn't it? sometimes we come against these roadblocks and it's it could be really hard for well very easy for us to give up but mm-hmm. i suppose it's tra- like just trying to get through that next roadblock and the next one to because in the meantime it's the act of um being um consistent is where Mm -hmm. it's when we get where we want to be isn't it yes yes definitely i agree brilliant well it's been really really great uh, talking to you and um yeah hopefully we'll get some links etc um about uh, sean's book down in the comments and uh, yeah hopefully you'll be able to go see it there but yeah Mm -hmm. it's been great talking to you thank you thank you very much